So, so Raj said that Allah can lie. Now, Muslims, is it a key to say that Allah, who is Al-Haq, can lie? That's so why I want to know. Why does Allah send false dreams to Muhammad? I am still waiting for you. You said two things so far. The first thing you said was that he lied to Muhammad so that he could fulfill his battle. I am still waiting for you, Suraj. If you can explain it to me, then that'll be great. But unfortunately for you, all I can see is that Allah lied and you lied. So ultimately, you're following a liar. Now, if you're following a liar, you're following the devil. Allah also says that if you forget remembrance, he will send devils after you so that they will lead you in the wrong way. You will think you're on the right way, but actually you're on the wrong way. So all I'm seeing here... So I would like to know why Allah does the things that Iblis does. Yeah. Why is Allah lying? Allah is God. Why is he lying? So Raj, again, if Allah knows things that are not true, then that would mean that he can't be God. So if Allah truly is God, why does he know falsehood? Why does he do the things that... that, that, that no, no, why does he do the things that, for example... Why can Allah send devils after you? For example, Allah has a womb. So why does Allah have a uterus? Can you explain to me why Allah has a uterus? In the Hadith tradition, Allah is said to have a uterus that he can protect and hangs on him. But now, why has he lied about that as well? Again, Siraj, why has he lied about this? Because if Allah can tell things that are not true, that would then mean that he is lying. And if Allah lies, he cannot be God. You are following falsehood, that would then mean, and for example, in Surah 8, you see that Iblis says to Allah, that Allah tricked him, or Allah misled him. How can uh, Iblis be saying that Allah misled him, when Allah, for example, is against shirk, but then Allah tried to trick Iblis to commit shirk. Allah told Iblis to bow down to Adam, and Adam is only a human being. You can only bow down to who? You can only bow down to Allah, subhanAllah. So why is it a case that Allah wanted to trigger bliss in order to commit shirk? Why? Because Allah says that supposedly, if you against remembrance, then he will send you devils to be your companions. So for example, how do you know that you are not right now guided by devils? So, no, no, don't worry, this can go. I go along and he can. So Allah is telling you things that are so how do you know that the entire Quran is in false? For example, the verses of satanic verses. How do you know instead that Allah is not the one who sent Muhammad that revelation? Because it appears that Allah and the devil are one. So Allah does the same thing as the devil does. That's why I want to know. Explain to me why Allah does the things of a devil. That's what I'm waiting for you, Siraj. Explain to me why Allah can say false things, do false things. And no false things because it appears that Muhammad himself was the false prophet. message. So, does that mean that Allah deceived Muhammad with the satanic verses and all his revelation? That's what I'm still waiting for. I'm still waiting for uh, Suraj. Explain why Allah knows false things because now he is giving Muhammad false revelation. So, therefore, Muhammad, everything he said be false so how will you be able to determine what is false and what isn't false what principle do you have to prove that the things that muhammad said is not false the bible says you believe that you can suck people's if their husbands allow you so please allow, uh, allow me right so Siraj, when you get married and i come over to the house are you going to give me your wife to suck that's the issue so again Siraj, the problem would be that would be your wife what's the Raj, according you, you're allowed to give it to someone else. So that's the issue. I do believe also it talks to
Why can Allah lie? Because Allah could be lying to you. That's the issue. How can you determine that Allah can lie? If you can lie once, then you can lie more than once. How do you know that your entire process of heaven is also a lie? Because from what I understand, Muhammad supposedly said, at the least of you, in heaven, we we'll have at least 72 virgins. Can you explain to me how you were aware? Even in the Quran, it mentions the idea of the Hurin. Wait, Suraj, I am still waiting for you, Suraj. Suraj, I'm still waiting for you. Can you explain to me why exactly Allah knows lies? Because lies. It, it, it's the same thing there. It's the same thing there. So Allah is still lying, but Suraj seems to accept the fact that God can lie. So what he then tries to do to defend the fact that Allah lies is by going to some verses in the Bible where because he can't read, he thinks God is lying. So effectively, what he's trying to do is call it two quick fallacy or what aboutism. He is essentially saying, so what if Allah lies? According to my understanding, in the Bible, God also lies, so therefore it's okay. But unfortunately, God is the truth, and He knows no lies. So if Allah is al-Haq, how can He lie? That's the issue. Contradiction. Contradiction. That's the issue. That's the issue. Allah can lie. So, um, so it, uh, it's in Surah 843. It says, remember, O Muhammad, right here closed. When Allah showed them to you in your dream, as few and if he had shown them to you as many you in brackets of believers would have lost courage and would have disputed in the matter in brackets of whether to fight but Allah saved you in brackets you from that indeed he is the knowing now if Allah is knowing and has knowledge falsehood doesn't count as knowledge only things that are true count as knowledge. Now, Allah shows the enemies to Muhammad in the dream as few. Okay. Because if he has shown them in the actual number, they would have been disheartened. That's right. Is that a, is that a truth or a lie? For example, yeah. if somebody is afraid of heights yes. and I want them to go bungee jumping with me. Okay, okay. And I tell them, oh, don't worry. It's, about it's not that high. <laughs> it's, only, it's, only... it's only about, you know, five feet. <laughs> but actually it's 500 feet. <laughs> Have I lied to them? Yes. Or have I told them the truth? Liar, liar. So the problem remains. Yeah. If you can lie once, why not again? Right. And again. And, and again. again. Across 114 surahs. Correct. So, okay. So that's why Moses are confused. because Allah Surah 8, verse 43. Al Makarin. And, and, and by the way, it's in the same. The, uh, this, this, uh, this ayah is in the same verse. It's in the same idea. Uh, the idea of Allah be or they plan, but Allah is the best of planners or deceivers. It's in the same surah. So the surah seems to be talking about deception. Yes, yes, that's true. That's the issue. Hey, man,